Good morning everyone out on YouTube. This is Debbie Gruber from Lots of Not Ceramics and I'm located at the Ohio Station Outlets in unit number 185. And my phone number is here 330-948-8100. If you have any questions about anything you see today or anything questions that you might have on something that you're working on, feel free to call me up. I don't mind helping you out if you're in trouble. Okay, so I'm here today to make my Zeus look alive. So I wanted to do his head because you know, I have him in my front window over here. So when people walk by, they see him, but he looks kind of like, you know, scary right now, naked, because he doesn't have a face. So I thought the best thing for us to do is put his face on. So what I did was grab the same color that I used on his body right here, and this is called Fawn. It's a good color, a good paint. And I just put some in a bowl, any bowl, ceramic bowl. It's non-toxic, it won't hurt the bowl won't hurt you and I'm just going to come in here and clean up his face just a little bit so I like it to look not quite straight here because he's a dog he's not you know a, a, a specific uh, inanimate object where you want to be a crisp line because then he wouldn't be perfect we don't want him to be perfect because if you make things look too straight and too perfect then it doesn't look real and in my world I like to have all of my stuff that I paint look as real as possible so when you see this dog and you're walking by for a second I want you to think that it's a real dog and I always kind of look back at what I've done before to see if there's anything that I need to touch up as I go and over here like on his body there's like a little mark over here so I'm just going to take that off real quick and straighten out his ear. Uh, over here on Zeus's ear, his, his ear is brown, but his body right here is not. So, and he's changed <clears throat> a little bit since the last time I painted him. So I'm gonna make those changes on here because you know, I want to look like my dog. <laughs> so he used to have little marks on his feet down over here on the bottom right here. He used to have marks going across here, but he doesn't have that anymore. And now he's got a little bit of something in here. So I put this on last time that I painted him but um, you can see I got a little bit of white spots over here. So I'm just going to put some paint in there and cover these up real quick. No big deal. Get them all covered up so they're good. Okay. And then today I'm going to, like I said, finish up his head. So I'm going to come into his eyes. And I think that's all I really need to touch up over here. You know, when I get the brow, oh, maybe a little over here where his um, ear is covering. And I just want to, uh, you know, make it look sharp and crisp over here because that's where he uh, his ear is brown but his body right next to the ear is not so that I'm cleaning up real good so I think what I do when I'm trying to get into a, an area like that I'll get some paint on my brush and kind of roll it so it's like even on my brush like this and then I'll put my brush down sort of kind of where I want to be but not exactly and then I move my brush sideways so I can get exactly where I want to be and then I bring my brush down but if you notice I'm not picking up my brush because I don't want to have jagged edges. I want to have it nice and smooth and crisp. So by doing that, that's exactly what I get. And I'll get some more paint and I start off over here and I'm exaggerating it a little more, <coughs> excuse me, so <coughs> that you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna move in like this and get it where I want it to go, see? And then I'm just bringing it down so the paint, and when it starts to not go where I want, then I get it off of there. Smooth the paint out so you don't have blobs of paint everywhere. And then grab some more paint. Bring this down, see? Just takes a second to do this. Take your time. There's no hurry, no fire. And then the same thing here. It's going to come down. Clean this up just a little bit. Put it in here. Perfect. That is perfect. And then right here, I got a little cleanup to do. And right here. And then he has a mark right here on his face. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. And I have a fly over here bothering me. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of making me mad. But... <laughs> okay, I'm going to get some of this brown. This is that dark burnt umber. And I'm, he's got a line, like right here. So I'm just going to bring the line down like this. And that's what it looks like. Okay. And then I guess a couple of spots here where you can see brown. And then I think we're going to give this guy a tongue and some eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do with this eyes is I'm going to bring this, this is called medium brown. It's the same dark holiday color, just a deeper brown. And I'm going to do his eyeballs so he has eyes. And there's a few reasons why I want to do that. If you noticed on the picture when I um, showed you the pictures of Zeus, he's got drool on his uh, tongue. And with a mastiff, you know, you kind of have to include the drool. It's just part of the dog. 
and I, um, and that takes a really long time to do. You have to do many, many coats, which we'll do on, on this video as we're going. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to put the brown on there. She's got some eyes now. And the, everybody always gets so intimidated on the eyes. I just make sure I go all the way to the top of the eye. Make a nice round eye. Now this one, his head is a little tilted. I don't know if you can tell that. But his head is just slightly tilted. So I, I make this one just a little bit smaller because of the way his head is tilted. But I want to look at it and make sure that they're close enough in the, in the eyeball size. And that looks good to me. Now I might have to do another coat because, you know, that's just the way this paint is. Okay. But that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to come in with the mauve, which is another Doc Holiday color. Notice I have a lot of Doc Holiday colors because this stuff really holds up very nice. It's very good top of the line paint, my favorite. That's why I carry it here. And I'm going to color his tongue. I'm going to get in there and just color in his tongue. That makes a perfect tongue color. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And then I'm going to clean up around his tongue so that way it's crisp. And I'm just following the, the line and just coloring it. Perfect. Now I'm going to get on the other side. And I don't worry so much about, you know, if I go over a little bit. Just remember, any color goes over the top of any color. So even if I do over a little bit, it's not a big deal. Just wait for it to dry and come back at it from the other direction. And it's just fine. That's what I like. One thing I really like about the acrylic paints because you can shade really nice, really nice, and you can cover it up really nice. So if I try something and I think, yeah, that looked better in my head than it does on the piece, that's okay. Let it dry and paint right over the top of it again. Pretty awesome. Okay, I think I got this tongue pretty good. Good. Now I'm going to clean up around this tongue with the whatever color I need. In this case, I'm going to use the burnt umber to bring it up in here and cover it here. I haven't gotten to his teeth yet. We'll get to that later. I'm going to get this done first. There. And then underneath his chin. Yeah, let's go. He comes down like this. I have to look at a picture on my phone. I see this dog every day. You'd think I'd remember every little detail about this beautiful dog, but I don't. <laughs> Look, I've got some white spots over there. There, this is perfect. I can see real good. And get in there with this dark color. Clean it up. Remember what I told you? You get some paint on there. You put it kind of where you want to go, and then you move it to where you want to be. And then, then just straighten out the paint so you don't have any blobs of paint. Blobs are the enemy because then it looks fake. We never want it to look fake. We always want it to look real. And this is the grunt stuff uh, that we have to do on every single piece. But... The fun stuff is coming soon because I'll be teaching you how to shade in the sun and the, and the light and all that good stuff. It's coming pretty soon. But the, we have to put the markings on first because that's the most important thing. When you're painting some uh, dog that you want to look specific, you have to make sure you put the markings on first. And then what you do after that is just bonus. Icing on the cake. Yeah, it wasn't quite dry over here. That's why it's not covering, it's mixing. But I'll hit it again, so there's no big deal. Yeah. Starting to look like something now. What do you think, guys? Just a little bit of color right there. Makes a big difference. Just fixing this up. There, beautiful. I like when it gets to this point because then it looks like my dog. And people, so, you know, people are already making comments and stopping and going, oh, look at that dog. You know I like that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And in here, I want some of this fawn color to show through, but I don't want white to be there, like, you know, where I didn't get the, the paint and go into the holes or the concrete. That looks pretty good. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit in between his feet because I'm here and I, and I like what I see here. So, oh wait, I want to go over here. I missed this part right here. I'll do that. There. And again, it shouldn't be even over here. 
Oh, my timer's going off, so that means that you've got your 10 minutes for today. <laughs> so I'm going to stop right here. This is a great stopping point. We can give the chance to the, for the eyes to dry, put another coat on when I come back on. But this is Zeus, and I hope you guys have a really nice day, and I hope that you're enjoying what you see here today and in the future. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch up with you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching our video today. Real quick before the up next video starts playing, do us a favor and smash the like and share buttons. If you want to see more of our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you're notified when we post new content. If you want to start your own project or just order some supplies, check out our store at www.lokceramics.com. Hope to see you in the next video.